Hello, everybody. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Chinese New Year Chit Chat, where we just uh, talk about stuff uh, relating to what uh, Datuk Joey Yap does. Um, this is a story I want to tell people uh, because it was a bit of a shock. So I think this was, I think, maybe oh, four years back, I think. Yep. Uh, and you invited me to your office. So I, I go into this building, basically Datuk Joey Yap's building. I saw something that shocked me, you know. What's it? No doors, ah. Not got doors. Uh. But your lift, there was a f- number four on the lift. There was a fourth floor. I'm thinking, wow, this Feng Shui master know what he's doing or not? <laughs> How can you say Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui? Your lift terang terang yeah, there got no. number four. There was number four. There was number fourteen. What's going on, What's man? What's going on, man? That's the first misconception that people have when it comes to obviously my office, lah. Yeah, mm-hmm. because they say oh, you're number four, you know. But number four has got nothing to do with feng shui. The number itself is, doesn't affect the energy at all. But they, because they said that it sounds like it sounds like there. Yeah. yeah. So th- that is not true. It's or? absolutely not true. All right. So number sounds has got you know zero effect on 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 the actual energy. And it's just like people saying, let's have purple and silver, right? Because purple is and silver is called anji ma. Oh, is it bit like hell? <laughs> I actually had a similar thought because they say like in Chinese four, and we always yeah. get teased about this. All yeah, the other yeah. races tease the Chinese, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you take China, take number one, but because four is say and yeah, like yeah. it sounds like death. And I'm thinking in my head, which came first, death or maths? <laughs> Obviously, death came first, right? <laughs> like, so why would one the the latter affect the former? Is it? It's only pronunciation. I think people always think that if you just pronounce it that way, it's bad. But that's the problem, then, and it gives Feng Shui a bad name because mm-hmm. you get very confused with this, you know, names lah. You know, people get confused with names right nowadays. But this is not numerology. It's, it's not, not. It's not. It's not. Num- numerology is a type of metaphysics. Uh, feng Shui part of it uses that, but it's not the sound of a number. We we use numbers because, as you know, there's a lot of calculations in Feng Shui. It's just like maths. Mm-hmm. Uh, we use that, but we don't use it because it sounds like something. We use it to represent. Calculations like in maths you have to use numbers, right? So like you you wouldn't like advise people to oh you must open your business on the twenty eighth because it's yi fat. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I wouldn't do that lah. Three eight is easier. Some fat, yeah. Okay. Uh, one six eight, yeah, no fat. You got like that, so easy man. <laughs> you just so you easy. just kill a lot of people's hopes, you know. Uh, <laughs> Everybody was like, I, I thought I cracked the code. Right? <laughs> cracked the code at one six eight all this while. Do we wait? So you're saying numerology is something different altogether. It's under the Feng Shui umbrella it's, it's, it's a tool. It's a tool. Uh, it's like algebra and maths lah. Okay. Yeah. And it's also like uh, like the uh, like the what do you call it? Uh, palm reading. Pa- palm reading is a different science. It's a different science. Uh, face reading is a different science. In it's all part of metaphysics. It's like in maths, you have calculus, you have algebra. Okay. All sorts Sub, of different like sub categories. Categories. Yeah. But we I, don't use palmistry as a main thing in feng shui. Feng shui is one science. Everyone like, hey, you do feng shui, I see my hand. You, know, you. <laughs> you I, do feng shui, I see my hand. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't slap him or not. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, lor. Nice, no, uh, a lot of people then also say like that feng shui has to do with like there's there are elements of magic, there are elements of the supernatural, and surely in a modern world uh, like now, mm. these beliefs cannot hold like, true. The problem is feng shui is natural, not supernatural. That one next level already. <laughs> what what level that one? I don't know this ghost level. <laughs> the, this, the problem is people come to us and say, hey, you know my house haunted. Yeah. House haunted, you look for ghost pastor. Ma. You look for me for what? Eh? I can't do anything, but here's my competitor's number. <laughs> you call so, them? so, so, wow, this is business. This, business, uh, this one yeah. is business. If people want to learn more about Feng Shui, again, the real Feng Shui. The real Feng Shui. So it's yeah. not about ghosts. No it's ghosts. Not, not about magic, mambo jumbo stuff. If they want to learn more about that, what can they do? They can go to the link they see in the description right now and down. Download the driver's guide for 2022. Alright, and it is absolutely free. Boy, yo, faster download.